It is early morning. Zach and I are leaving Annie's house here in Houston, Texas. We got to go all the way to Phoenix, Arizona, 17 hours. Now, the thing is, is that it is 6.20 a.m. on a weekday, and this is going to be the first cold start of the Hennessy Exorcist with the headers, the full straight pipe exhaust, the cams. I am so sorry to Annie's neighbors around here, but um, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Here goes nothing. here in the middle of nowhere and uh, we got to fill up this thing it turns out that when you do build up a car to have a thousand horsepower you definitely compromise your fuel economy I was hoping that like keeping the foot light on the pedal and cruising like road tripping wise like it wouldn't really affect it that much but it's definitely like slightly noticeable so uh, we're getting like probably like 13 mpg depending on like what cars you're around that's either <laughs> like really bad or that's like better than you would think look at how dusty hey, this is what the heck someone like splashed it with muddy water <laughs> i find it funny that the stripe goes like right through the freaking yeah, right. the cap they playing that for sure you ready <laughs> in Texas. This thing gets the attention that it deserves. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Woo Dude, that gets up there so quick. 70 to like 160 and like nothing. Yeah, that was like the fastest 50 to 70 mile an hour. Yeah. I've ever done. Being out in Mexico, literally like the road just doesn't end and you're in a freaking Hennessy Exorcist. Like, how can you not? Cozy Cone Motel. Literally. Lit yeah, literally. This is like, these are like camping spots. What are those like cans for? I think it's just trash. I think that's just straight up their trash can, but these are all slots for, look at that. There's like mobile yeah. homes and then there's RVs. Look at this. Yeah, there's a museum though. There's Yo, like what GT the heck? They actually have, yeah, there's like a GT40 kit car. There's an old NASCAR. Very cool. There's like actually some nice vintage stuff in this auto museum that looks completely abandoned. If you're ever driving through Texas to Arizona, let me know in the comments if you know of where we are because frankly, I'm only here because of a gas stop. So I have no idea where we are. We're somewhere in between Texas and Mexico and Arizona. But I'm gonna stop and get a photo of this in front of the auto museum. 
Her horn is broken. <laughs> oh yeah, Pop's hood. <laughs> I feel bad, bro. I know. That's we should go. Worst. We could go like go pull a fuse. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, that's all it'd be. It'd be a fuse. Bro, check check this out real quick. Look, look at all this traffic that we got coming up. And yeah, like, the traffic, bro? I, <laughs> there's the road right there. Um, there's literally no car in sight on it. I don't know what the heck Google is seeing right now. Yeah, not a soul yet. We're in. In no, the red? Right. No, apparently it stops right there, so we're good. Uh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it should end, like, right about now. Uh, we're, we're clear. Much better. Hennessy gave her the fresh detail, but she's picking up all the bugs now. And uh, they're going all the way back down in there into the brand new freaking heat exchangers all over the headlights, whatnot. And uh, I definitely notice all the bugs now splattered on my already low visibility thin windshield. Currently at El Paso, Texas, like three quarters of the way there. The sun is starting to go down, but uh, we're continuing onward. This thing's been a trooper. <laughs> God, I don't know how my neighbors are gonna handle this. Texas is the place that is king of having highways that are next to highways. Basically side roads that go alongside the freeway. And now we're about to merge onto the main freeway. We gotta say our greeting to uh, Mexico over there. Maybe we'll get this thing over. We'll be racing into actual territory soon. Who knows? I'm sure some of you guys watching may wonder with Hennessy headers and the full Corsa basically straight pipe exhaust does this build drone as we road trip it on the freeway and my answer is not really there is definitely obviously like a hum that exists in the background but I mean we could still talk to each other at like a moderate level and um, it hasn't really gotten to my ears that much but you definitely notice when it's on versus I completely let off so it's livable <laughs> that's what I'd say fuel stop number four on this journey and it looks like we're gonna still have one more after this making number five in total after the tank is topped off when I check my full fuel range it estimates around 270 I don't exactly remember what it was before but it was definitely a lot more than that like I said these are just the cons you got to deal with when you have a thousand horsepower <laughs> Found some cars with protective camo. Yeah, that's something brand Dude, new. So you think that's like a, a like a yeah, so Raptor this, competitor, like a Ranger Raptor competitor for yeah, Colorado? So they, they had this package called the Bison of the last generation. I think that's probably what that is. No like way. Like the new generation of it. Oh look, yeah, well there's a brand new Colorado right in the middle. Right. I wonder what that is in the back. <laughs> yeah, that just looks like an old it's, old two-door Silverado. It's the new Silverado like diesel, but it's a it's a single cab version. Which it's is a single cool. cab dually. Yeah, so like a, almost like, like a fleet vehicle for like yeah. a construction company or something. Check that out. It's always incredibly cool to spot test mules out yeah. in the wild. That's just, I've never really had the opportunity to do that before. It's yeah. So if you guys see like looks funny weird. looking camo tape all over the cars, just know you're probably seeing something that it hasn't really been released yet. <laughs> Zach's freaking, oh boy. <laughs> He's playing with her. He's going to freaking take his opportunity of driving this thing. The downshift to the best part. Definitely capitalize on it. <laughs> Freaking the way that it just surges and it pulls, but then not only that, just the sound is freaking orgasmic. The way it's bouncing off things as we're driving around. Oh lord. Like that. <laughs> Why well, is this gonna be some V6? Uh, there it 
up, brother? <laughs> oh, he's got a, he has a 1320 sticker. <laughs> I love the delay and shift. <laughs> I don't know where we are. We're in some small town in the middle of nowhere. They made us like detour and get off the main freeway. So we're just in the back towns right now. And we found a 5-0 it looks like. Not paid ZL1 advertisement of the evening is that the ambient lighting in here is just superior. Yeah, dude. It's the so freaking sick. this is like a nightclub. For sure. In the sense that there is literally there's a little projector right here. You can see how my hand is illuminated. Yeah. And it just kind of creates a spotlight over yeah. your shifter and like just the overall ambiance inside of here is just so cool for especially rolling around at night. It's just like, it, it's a, it just, the environment feels way too nice for being a Chevy Camaro. I'm gonna just be real with that. Yeah. But in that way, it's underrated, it's good. And I would keep that in mind if anyone wants a six gen Camaro. 17 hours later, and we're not even that late. It's 1021 and we have made it to Phoenix, Arizona. We are stopping here at Zach's family's crib. We're on one end of the country, all the way close down to the freaking Gulf of Mexico and going all the way to the other coast by the Pacific. Not today, obviously we're here in Arizona, but eventually in a couple days, we'll be going from here over to LA next. Yeah, we're definitely, we're, we're getting a solid break in on uh, on this car It's funny now because of the freaking idol like yeah. that's the most attention grabbing thing of this car like the, the sand color is unique and like you know it's, it's got all the arrow and all that kind of stuff but the freaking idol is just a presence machine that's just like I am here. Blah, 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 blah. 